Welcome back to the final part of the URL shortener application series. In this part, we are going to learn how to dockerize a Spring Boot application and then we are going to run both our uh, Spring Boot application and PostgreSQL database as Docker containers by using Docker Compose. So let's get started. Usually to build a Docker image, we can write a Docker file and specify all the steps that we want to run in order to create our Docker uh, image. But Spring Boot already integrates with Packeto build packs and uh, it integrates with uh, Spring Boot Maven plugin and Gradle plugins where you can simply run a, a build tool command and you can generate a Docker image using the uh, build packs behind the scenes. So in our application, we can simply go to console and run this Maven command. So here I am using Maven wrapper spring hyphen boot colon build hyphen image. So this is the command I can use to build a Docker image from my Spring Boot application. And then I can customize the Docker image name by uh, specifying this spring hyphen boot dot build hyphen image dot image name equals to. So my Docker Hub username is Prasadriti slash and I'm giving the uh, application name spring hyphen boot hyphen URL shortener. So by running this command, it is going to use packet of build packs behind the scenes and create a Docker image. So as you can see, it is building a Docker image with name seoprasadridi slash spring boot URL shortener. So now our Docker image is created successfully. So instead of every time passing the image name from command line, we can also configure in our palm.xml what is the default uh, Docker image name that we want to give. So you don't need to pass every time like this. So instead of giving hard-coded name, I am referring my project artifact ID. So here, now instead of running a command previously by passing this uh, argument of image name, I can simply run spring boot colon build image. So it is going to run and create a Docker image with whatever the name I have specified over here. So here you can see it is building the same uh, image with the given name. So that is how simple it is by, uh, to build a Docker image from our uh, Spring Boot application. So all you need to have is uh, running Docker on your machine so that it can use uh, Docker engine and then build the Docker image. So once I have built the Docker image of our Spring Boot URL shortener application, I have created a, a folder called Docker. Inside that I have Docker Compose ML file. And here I have specified two services. One is to create a PostgreSQL and it is similar to how we have used earlier, except that we are not mapping the port to our uh, host machine 5432. And we have uh, defined another service for our application itself. So this is the image we have just built and we are giving a container name and we need to pass our uh, Spring data source properties that is pointing to this container. So here, instead of using localhost, we are giving the host name as whatever is given here. So we are referencing this as the host name and it is going to be the Docker containers uh, port of PostgreSQL, which is 5432. And Postgres is all our username, password, and database name. And our application is by default uh, exporting, uh, exposing 8080. So we are mapping that onto our host. And also we are specifying this service depends on uh, PostgreSQL. So with this configured, now we can go to console and let me cd into Docker. So here I can run docker compose up minus D. So before that, let me ensure I am not running any other container. So here I have a PostgreSQL running earlier. So let me delete that 
now i am running this let us see okay it is uh, spinning up if everything fine we should be able to access our application yes i am able to so here we are not uh, running our application from our ide both the container uh, postgresql and our application both are running in docker compose so here i am able to access the application also so if i click on it it's going nowhere there was a bug in our code earlier while accessing the short url we are only checking whether it is not null but we are not checking whether it is uh, actually true so even if it is false it is going uh, and checking the created by equals to uh, to the given user id or not so we need to add this get is private so that if it is only private then it's going to check for whether the current user is uh, authorized to access that or not so i have just added this condition and rebuilt the image and restarted the application now let us go ahead and re-access this url and it is opening the original url so it's looking fine so this is how you can dockerize your spring boot application and then you can run both the application itself and its dependencies right now we have only postgresql otherwise if your application is also using uh, like redis or any other things you can also run them and then point uh, your uh, spring boot uh, properties to those services so one thing to note here so if you take a look at our uh, application at properties we are defining spring dot data source dot url to this uh, url jdbc url so these are kind of a default values that you can put in your application but when you are deploying in certain environment like uh, qa environment or production or any other environment you may want to pass different values for it so you don't actually need to change it simply you can override these values using environment variables so how do we pass the environment variables to override any of these parameters simply we need to capitalize these keys and change dots to underscore that way you can pass uh, any overridden values and the environment variables will get high priority than what you configured in application properties so that's what we are doing here so as environment we are specifying spring underscore data source underscore url which is nothing but we are overriding this okay so similarly we are overriding both username and password as well and instead of using localhost now it is pointing to this host name as postgres so this is how you can deploy your application so i hope overall you find this url uh, shortener application using spring boot useful to learn a wide range of concepts so overall i think this uh, Spring Boot's URL shortener application is very useful for you. And we have covered quite a lot of things in this course. And I hope this is helpful for you. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.